Hey there everyone, this is Rykerbs, and we're going to be playing Kirby Superstar for the Super Nintendo. And let's start off by going to Kirby 2 for no good reason. In this game, there are several different games, which are in a big old fun pack, which is pretty funny because it was called Kirby Fun Pack in other regions. And we're going to start off with Spring Breeze. So right when we start off, we have a little prompt. Is this your first time playing? No. Shall we explain copy? No. But it tells us anyway. This is re this is fixed in the remake, by the way. So, great. <laughs> Stage one is Green Greens. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well, if that's because this is a complete and utter remake of Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy, only you have copy abilities. And in this game, copy abilities are even more, well, viable than in Kirby's Adventure. You can do many, many moves with one move. And a little thing that appeared in Superstar and carried over to other Kirby games is that you can create a helper who will go off on his own merry way and destroy enemies for you. This character can also be controlled by a second player with the second controller or with another DS on the uh, remake. Now, I don't find the helper that helpful. He sometimes gets in my way and stuff. And unfortunately, in the original version of Kirby's Superstar, you have to make a helper in order to drop your copy ability, which annoys the crap out of me, so... Let's just move on. <laughs> And now for a new ability, we got bomb. We can throw bombs everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I'm not going to talk about, like, uh, abilities I've already covered in my last Kirby project, like, a year ago. So, I'll just, just, let's just go through and bomb everything. Bomb that bear. That bear bombed. So, that guy, he is, I'm going to run right into him. I'm not playing this game very well in this recording, I'm not going to lie. But, at least I do finish it. <laughs> Spoilers. But, anyway. Got some one up there. It's very easy to find. You don't really need to think to get it. Uh, now for the first boss, because he's the first boss of the first game and first boss of basically every game. Hello, Wispy Woods. Let's go bomb you to death. Throw a bomb. Throw a bomb. Throw a bomb. Throw a bomb. And of course, once the helper dies, he starts to explode into many, many bits until you heal him, which I won the stage anyway. <laughs> and he dances with me, even though he was exploding earlier. Which is always kind of interesting. Either way, we're going to float islands now, because the islands are floaty. And we get a fish stuck in our face. Either way, we get to try out a new ability, which is Fighter Kirby! He has a bunch of fighting moves. Holding down those buttons will do different fighting moves. That is very self-explanatory and very redundant. Either way, so let's just move on. Going over here. There's a secret here. There's a one-up in here. Why isn't that just something? I will not lose a life either, so this is kind of pointless. <laughs> And the AI decides to just throw himself into the spikes. This is something else I really don't like about the helper system in this game. Uh, the camera always seems to want to keep the uh, helper and Kirby on the same screen, which means that the uh, screen will try to move around and I can't see much things. Anyway, let's go hyper. Whee! It's called super in this game, but whatever. Whee! And as a mid-boss, we can destroy it with hyper one shot and just blast him with our little corpse star. That's the only reason why that's there. In the end. And we're coming up to our second boss in the uh, place that is this game. I forgot what it was called. Spring Breeze. Lolo and Lalala, -la -la, who only ever appeared in this game and the first game. And a bunch of games they only have themselves. By the way, this one actually gave me a bit of stress because I was a bit of an idiot and I... Uh, I had a lot of lot less health on me right now. 
Well, it doesn't matter now because there's a guy right there and I'm going to completely not be able to hit him. Either way. He's dead. I hit him. We can move on. Out of this world! Dance. 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 More dancing now. And now we're in the bubbly clouds. Notice the pause there because my uh, recording decided to be uh, jittery. Ha ha ha! Yeah, either way, no big deal. We can just destroy a knight with our icicle powers. Just kick him around. Because that's what we do. And there's a new ability up there right now. I just drop chili and hope that the god doesn't kill the guy I'm trying to get. No, we get Mirror Kirby, who has a bunch of mirror based attacks. He also has his deflection shield, which allows his projectiles to basically be reflected. Which is pretty awesome, but kind of impractical because there's not that many times when that's useful. But either way, let's just keep on going on town place fighting Krako Jr. We haven't seen him a few times. I just high jump off him and just smack him in the face. That was always fun. <laughs> and we're coming up to this section where we gotta destroy blocks because they're in my way. I know there's the mic ability there. I'm not gonna get it because I have no idea. Mainly because it's kind of pointless at this point, so... So there's a next tomato here. If you have less health, you might want to grab it. And run directly into the uh, guy right there. And just make it very pointless to grab. <laughs> just gotta fly up and destroy guys everywhere. And completely mess a guy everywhere. And completely just smack him into everything. And... If you remember my first Let's Play of Kirby's Adventure, well, you'll know that you can go on this moon. Just like in Kirby's Dreamland. And our partner's apparently exploding with us. He can't grab food, but I can. I cannot help him, because I cannot throw my ability. Why can't I throw my ability? Because I don't choose to. At least he's dead, so I don't have to look at bonkers anymore. non secretary Station. Let's go fight Krako now, because Krako is cracky crack. Not really much to say here, but he has a lot more moves than the you know, adventure, like the uh, that that little lightning thing. He does the exact same attack, uh, in the exact same pattern each time. So you should not have a problem uh, facing off against uh, Krako. Except I am having all the trouble in the world. That's why I just decided to say screw it and throw a star at him. And now, it is time to finish this little game off. That was short already. Mount Dedede, the final stage of Spring Breeze, and it's probably the longest, hardest, most difficult stage of all of Spring Breeze. Of which, the difficulty comes from ignoring this door and going to grab this bomb ability. Going off a bit here and uh, just going back into that door. Say hello to the final boss, King Dedede! Hello, and there's Mario and Luigi and friends over there. In the remake, there are a bunch of other people that I might want to show off. Which is kind of fun. <clears throat> but either way, we just throw a few bombs at him, and uh, that, that's King Dedede for you. Especially when I get hit in a stupid, stupid way. So, the end. Game over. And now for the most amazing staff credits in the world. This guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, right there. He's a guy. Who is that? I don't know. His credits go way too fast. This guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, right there. 
They are the people that make this game possible, it's crazy, no it is so silly now. There's so many people around here, all rights reserved copyrights in this game, so there are no music and property collaboratory Nintendo. Yeah. That was a pretty fun game. <laughs> pretty short though. It's it's kinda crazy how just amazingly short this game is. I don't know. Uh I'm a really bad liar, aren't I? Oh, there's more to this game. Well, of course there is. I told you already because of the main menu. As we look, we still have a lot of games to go through. So, next time on Let's Play Kirby Superstar, we are going to take on Dinoblade. See you guys then.